Greetings! In today's video, I want to show you something really shiny. What I have here is a selection of beautiful handmade paints from the Art Spirits. They have a shop on Etsy and their own personal website. I'll put all the links below if you want to check it out. And they specialize in shimmer, glitter and metallic paints. What really called to me with these paints is just how shiny and actually metallic some of them are. Then when I started looking more closely at the full range, I saw that there were also large glitter flake colors and I got really curious. I put together a selection and waited for the package to arrive. As you can see, everything came super nicely packaged. The pans have wrappers that match their name or theme. So much care went into it and I really appreciate that. The pans are very pretty and very shiny. Once everything was unpacked, I started with some swatches. So as you can see here, I set up this little swatch sheet. There is a part of the swatch that is black so that we can see the effect over a dark background and the other half of the swatch is white. So we can see the effect over a white background. There's a couple of things that I noticed here that to me were really impressive. So in the case of many of these colors, they are very opaque almost fully opaque. I think these two are completely opaque. Then the yellow gold, the rusty gold, the rose gold, the sparkling seaweed, these are, you know, m mostly opaque, meaning that you can't really see as clearly the difference between the dark and the lighter background, like the line in the middle is not all that visible. Another thing that I noticed that I was really impressed by is the bigger flake paints. I thought looked really interesting and really good. And with that as reference, I decided to do a couple of tests with these paints. So on the right hand side of this spread first, what I did is in the top section here, you can see super shiny colors, but I tried doing mixes between the shiny paints and I labeled them at the bottom what I mixed together. Mixing shiny paints together is not something that I automatically think of, but in this case I really wanted to try it out because there are so many different characteristics between the paints, like opacity, the size of the flakes and all that, and I thought that I could possibly create even more interesting effects by mixing everything. Then what I did is, at the bottom section here, I used um, Holbein Indigo as a base color and I mixed in all the effects paints and the indigo just to see how the paints would mix or not. And I think that also expands the possibilities and, you know, the kind of interesting effect you can create with those paints. On the left hand side of this spread, these are my tests, sort of my demo of these paints. I tried to use the shiny paints as much as I could, so everything is very very shiny in here. You don't have to go that overboard with your usage of these paints, but I really wanted to pack the shiny in there and I'm really impressed with the results. Some colors are a bit more subtle, like the sparkling seaweed and the rose gold. They are indeed, you know, quite shimmery but it's more subtle. And then you have either the big flake, the glitter ones that are really, really striking, but also both silver colors that I got are really nice and opaque and, you know, shiny. And it was super fun to paint with these. Like I tried making some sort of interesting effects. I feel like when you use shimmer or shiny or glitter paints, the goal is not to render something realistically but it's to try and maybe capture that feeling that you get when you look at the real thing, like the ooh, ah, shiny, but in a different way on paper. And that's why I did some tests like overlaying. In this one, it's the silver glitter over a gold base. And this one has the rusty gold base, but I put some bright gold glitter on top and all kinds of effects like that. Here we have gold with the copper glitter. And I really tried to, you know, pack it full of shiny just to have this feeling. And considering what I wanted to accomplish, I feel like I succeeded. <laughs> I'm really happy with how this turned out and I'm super excited to 
play with these paints more. My order came with this little pamphlet that has extra info that is super interesting. It's like basic information regarding all of these and the fact that they have different types of glitter and shimmer in there. It's a lot of tips and tricks, like the kind of brush that it that is recommended and the notes and yeah, what I usually do and what I did here and it worked out for me. You pre-wet these. I have an eyedropper here that I just plop a drop of water on each of the pans. You let it sit just for a moment and then you can start working with the paints. Now the coarse glitter ones, like the, the flakes, you kind of have to scoop them up with your brush, plop them down and spread them gently to really get that big sparkly glitter flake effect. Most of the other ones that were quite smooth, you just carefully mix and put down on the paper. You can use these like really thickly to get the most out of the shine and the glitter, but you can also dilute them and they will have this beautiful soft effect on your paintings. I absolutely recommend these paints if you want to add some really good shininess <laughs> in your collection of special effect paints. For me, my, my quest in terms of special effect paints was to find silver paint that really delivers that silver opaque shine. And I found some excellent paints here for that. And then the golds are also really nice. I'm very happy with these colors. My selection was really centered around gold and silver colors because I feel like of all of those I've tried so far, more often than not, they are light on the effects. Beautiful colors, but not as shiny as I wanted them to be. And then I found these and I'm super happy with these and I'm excited to paint more with these. I'll have links to the art spirits in the description. Please check it out. I love when I can try some artisanal paints that have been made with so much love and care and thoughtfulness. So I hope you will enjoy taking a look at everything they have to offer and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye!